Welcome to Appaloosa, More Than Just a Color Breed, a podcast dedicated to showing the world the versatility and adaptability of the Appaloosa horse, as well as the people devoted to preserving and enhancing this outstanding breed. Welcome. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for joining me for the inaugural episode of Appaloosa, More Than Just a Color Breed. I'm your host, Tony Bottoms. For this episode, I just want to kind of introduce myself and talk about what we're going to be doing with the show. As I said in the beginning of the show, my name is Tony Bottoms. I will go on record saying now that I am not a horse person. I am a horse husband. When I say that I'm not a horse person, what I mean is that I didn't grow up around horses. Yeah, I rode horses on occasion, and yeah, I had a pony when I was a kid. I did not participate in any horse events growing up, such as barrel racing, roping, horse showing, etc. Everything that I've learned about horses is from my wife, Heather, helping her and the people that she is involved with. With that being said, I am one third owner of BNB Equine. The other two thirds of BNB Equine are my wife Heather and my cousin Gary. We breed Premier Appaloosas for the show ring. Currently, we have six brood mares, five of which are in foal, a weanling hunter under saddle gelding prospect that is for sale if you're interested, a weanling halter bred mare that is getting ready to start her show career, but the main highlight of our farm is our yearling stallion, My Childhood Desire, also known as Bruiser. He was shown in the open yearling stallion division with Steve Cruz. He is currently leading that division in points, and our hope is that he'll go on to win the world and earn his bronze medallion. I am the bookkeeper, the operations manager, and the general laborer of B&B Equine. The heart and soul of B&B Equine is my wife, Heather. B&B Equine was her idea. Now, That's not right. It was her lifelong passion. For as long as I've known Heather, and even way before that, Heather has always had a passion for horses. The first horse that she ever bought for herself was an Appaloosa named Mac. While Mac did well for Heather in the show ring, Appaloosas weren't and still are not looked favorably in the hunter and jumper world. Heather is the person who picks the broodmares and then picks the stallions that those broodmares are bred to. She is also a marketing person, which if you follow her or B&B Equine on Facebook, you will soon realize. So why this show? Well, I see the passion that Heather has for Appaloosas and horses in general. And meeting many people through our breeding and horse showing, I realize that many other people share this same passion for their horses and the Appaloosa breed. So the idea behind this show is to highlight the Appaloosa horse breed. What I'll do is cover one or two subjects per episode. I already have a couple of interviews lined up that will be coming out after this episode. The main way that I want to cover these topics is through interviews. I will try to interview owners, trainers, riders, pretty much anybody involved with Appaloosas. At first, most of these people will be involved in breeding and showing because that's the people that I come in contact with the most. I also want to talk about some of the issues that we're facing in Appaloosa Horse Club. In particular, how do we attract new members to the APHC? And how do we maintain the members that we already have? And along that note, how do we attract younger generations? Following along that string of thought, do we want to grow the APHC? What I mean is, do we want to become as big as AQHA? While this does have its benefits, it does come with a whole host of issues. I also want to hear from you on what topics you think I should cover and who do I need to be interviewing. They don't have to be big name people, just as long as they have a passion about Appaloosans and they have an interesting story. You can contact me at Appaloosa Media One, that's the number one, at gmail.com. You can look me up on Facebook at Appaloosa Media, or you can tweet me on Twitter at Appaloosa Media. If you do have a suggestion on somebody to interview, give me some way to contact them would be helpful. I think this is where I'm going to end this inaugural episode. Thank you and have an happy day.
That brings us to the end of the show. Thank you for listening. I hope that you enjoyed the show and that we'll see you here next time. Please share the show with your friends. Go to iTunes and give us a rating. I particularly like the five-star ones. And leave us a comment. If you would like to contact me, would like to leave a suggestion for a show topic, or have somebody that you'd like me to interview, then you can look us up on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Appaloosa Media. You can find us on Twitter at Appaloosa Media, or you can email me at Appaloosa Media One, that's the number one, at gmail.com. Thank you for listening and have an happy day.